Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I was just about to explain the topic, but now I see there is a second reverse osmosis unit and I have absolutely no idea where it came from. Hi, Yuris. Maybe I can help. You? I thought you're not real. Well, here I am and I know where the second unit came from. Okay, never mind. Just go ahead and explain it. <laughs> okay, guys, so this video is sponsored by Arca and they thought when this guy is getting a free system. Why not surprise his amazing audience and send him a second unit uh, for a giveaway? How cool is that? <laughs> well, guys, now to enter the giveaway, you have to watch this video very, very carefully because I will share the details and a very special code that is super important later in the video. Okay, see you later. Finally, yeah, now that makes sense, okay. Anyway, guys, in today's video, I will install this super cool reverse osmosis system and explain the why and how I use reverse osmosis water. And don't forget to answer all the RO related questions that you have received. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course I will. And now guys, let's get started. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing to find out what you get in the box. First things first, you get the cartridges. This is a active charcoal. This is the main RO membrane. You get the additional active charcoal. One is phase one, one is phase two. And this is the pre-filter. Basically the water goes through the pre-filter, active charcoal, then it goes through the membrane and then a final active charcoal. And that final step can be replaced by a resin. So those are the cartridges. Let's put them a little bit aside. Then we have the accessories pack and you get everything you need, you're fully covered. So you have uh, the thick tubing for the water from the tap to the system. You have the regular thin tubing for your RO and wastewater. Uh, let's put this aside. What else do you get? You have a tool in case you need it to unscrew. I haven't used it ever since I got this system in my client tanks, by the way the Ultima Angel tank and the Wild Rhino tank. Both are running on the MyArca system already for over a year, basically since the system came out and love it. That's why it's now coming in my studio. Okay, here we have the power brick. The cable, nice. Everything here, oh sweet. You get a TDS meter so you can check if it's working properly and when it's time to replace it. Uh, also, there is a built-in function I will explain once it's installed. Uh, how to use it, right? And then we have some more stuff in here. Uh, a manual in case you want to look inside or you can just follow me along or yeah, later on, look inside if you have more questions. Here comes the most important part. This little thingy, the T branch is where you get your water uh, for the system. Basically cold water tap goes in here and then extends here to your yeah, sink and, and tap where you wash your hands, whatever you do. And this is where that thick cable goes to the system. So this part is important. I kind of like that it comes in one piece. Uh, so that's solid metal. And then basically a bunch of small stuff, other mounting options, which yeah, you have doubles, you have screws, you have zip ties, a little RO tap in here. And this one is handy if you have a free um, or spare water tap, like for a washing machine. You don't have to steal the water in your bathroom. You can just use one of these if you have a spare tap. Just screw on, quick connector, boom, job done. And then the system itself. And if you find yourself in a situation where you kind of open it and there is some water in the back, no worries. It's the same thing like with washing machines. They are tested before they are shipped. And this is just the testing water that is remaining in the system. Yeah, mine is a little bit wet as well. Uh, confirms what I just said. And just look at it, how compact and good looking the system is. You know, kind of works like this. I love the design. And you will see how easy it is to screw in those cartridges, uh, even without tools. Now that we've seen what's in the box included, yeah, let's go and install it, right? Well, before we start, let me explain really quick why I use reverse osmosis water on all of my own and all of my customer aquariums. I have two stories I would like to share with you. 
Number one is about my second ever proper aquascape. And I guess I did it in 2009. It was running on tap water. Back then at my parents' place, the tap water was almost perfect. KH2 and GH3 from the tap, plus slightly acidic, almost like empty fish tanks magic tap water. We've got magic water. Corridors catfish and discus would regularly spawn right after a large water change. Everything went well, but one day there was construction works in our road and it was already late and I didn't think about it flushing the tap first before using the water. I suppose someone else uh, in the house must have already used the tap before. And as I said, it was really late, uh, the lights were off and I haven't noticed the gunk in the water. Well, now you can imagine, next morning, majority of the fish were either dead, inside the aquarium or on the floor as they jumped out in an attempt to escape. I can't tell you how sad I was and how bad I felt knowing the death of all the fish could have been avoided. So this has been story number one. You know, imagine going through this. Second story is from when I started my full-time aquascaping career in 2012. I think I set up two custom aquariums both at about the same time and both customers told me they have nice and soft water and I was very optimistic um, it's gonna have a good plant growth. At first both setups evolved great with little to no algae and healthy plant growth but suddenly plants started to melt for no reason and despite excellent maintenance routine and water parameters in check uh, the situation got worse week after week. Luckily, I've been able to discover both clients had a water softening system that works with salt taps. This system removes calcium and magnesium from the water and replace it with sodium. It turned out this tap water was absolutely unsuitable to keep plants and I had to take immediate action. I installed RO systems and while one of the setups has bounced back and has recovered nicely, it was sort of too late for the other one and I had no other choice but to pull the plug and completely rescape the aquarium at my own expense. So this is when I told myself that from now on I will use reverse osmosis water on all of my own and client aquariums as it eliminates all problems and guessing as I can have the exact same water parameters and apply what's working for me to every client aquarium. And now let's go and install the system. To install the RO system, turn off the cold water and double check there is no pressure remaining. Next, remove the tubing connecting with the tap. Now you can install the tip branch provided in the package and make sure the rubber seal is in place. Before connecting to the RO system, close the valve and check for leaking. So I've been first thinking to hang up here in between the barrel and the sink, but then I realized then I would have a lot of cables going to that system which would look just super messy. So instead, I would just put it up here on this wall. And if it's hanging here, not only it looks more clean because it kind of fits the wall much nicer, but I have a super short connection to the power. Uh, the clean water coming from the tap is super short. The waste water can go straight into the sink and nothing is crossing you know, this area. And then I have uh, my excess tubing for the refill of the tanks. I don't know, maybe here on the uh, towel hook here hanging, something like that. And the only tubing that would cross the room would be if I wanted to collect the water in the barrel. So now let's mount this thing to the wall. I measured the distance on the back of the system and applied markings on the wall. When hanging something on a wall with tiles, it is best to drill in between the tiles. Hello! <laughs> hey again! So while Yuris is installing the RO system, let me tell you a little bit more about the My Aqua from Arca and how you can win the giveaway and get the exact same system for yourself. It's cool, right? 
So guys, why it is called the My Aqua 1900 is simply because it is producing 1900 liters or 500 US gallons per day. And the absolute best about it is the yield ratio of one to one. According to online reports, based on the tap water quality in some cases, the yield ratio can be even better. And the filter replacement is super easy thanks to the quick connector mount. And additionally, you can buy refills and swap out the content of the filters, which is good for your wallet and the planet. So now in order to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to Eurus's YouTube channel and comment below the code on this sign. Check it out, look careful. There you see it. What does it say? My Aqua. And the amount of liters the system is producing within 24 hours. Easy peasy. And because giving away an entire system is not enough, there is a bonus waiting for the winner if he or she is also subscribed to the Arca YouTube channel. The winner will be announced when this video reaches 20,000 views and I guess I don't have to tell you what to do if you want to speed up the process. By the way, the APT winners from the past two videos are Scott and Ant 4371 and 12 inch Bumblebee. Congratulations guys! To claim your win, please send an email to the address at the about page of this channel. And now back to the video. Check the back of the unit to see which connector is for tap, pure and wastewater. Remove the seals and plug in the tubings one by one. It is important to first push the tubings firmly inside and thereafter gently pull out a little bit in order to tuck in the blue security clips. They will prevent the tubings from disconnecting accidentally. Next, I shorten the tap tubing, which is easy to recognize as it is the thicker one and connected it to the T-branch. As I have a full metal siphon, I decided to install the wastewater tubing into the overflow of the sink. For this, I have used a spare piece of white tubing for a better color code, as well as an optional 90 degree joint for a more clean look. You can find all kind of RO fittings on Amazon. By the way, links to all products mentioned will be in the description below the like button. Finally, I attached a tap fitting to the blue pure tubing in order to be able to turn the water flow on and off while standing next to my aquariums. Next, I installed the paper pre-filter that will remove all sorts of debris, followed by active charcoal that will absorb the solved impurities and extend the lifespan of the RO membrane. Third position is the carbon post filter that will further purify the water after it has passed through the RO membrane. Now connect the power brick and install the fourth and the final filter, which is the RO membrane itself. I find it helpful to write the date of the install on the filters, as this will allow me to see when they are due for replacement. Speaking about which, it is generally recommended to replace the paper and carbon filters every six months and the membrane as soon as the TTS readings go up. The My Aqua 1900, however, will remind you with acoustic signal and flashing lines to check the quality of the filters once a certain amount of working hours or liters has been reached. Moving on, I attached some extra thick double-sided sticky tape to the back of the power brick, which allowed me to mount it right above the power sockets. So now the system is installed, uh, all that's left to do is to flush it before we can actually start using it. To do so, first turn on the valve below the sink so the water can enter the system. Next, open the valve at the uh, clean water tap, uh, you know, the one that I added for the aquarium, for the control, so it can run through. And the final step, put in the power, uh, so yeah, it's actually boosted. And then put 30 minutes on the clock. And then we can uh, take the first TDS readings and if they're not good enough, then I will give it another 30 minutes and check it uh, finally after that.